Hello, Scott Peart here at Sunstone and Orion Welders. Today we are setting up the Genomi CNC system and 250i2 EV welding system. So as you can see here, we have the interface. On the back, there is a quick connect, and that'll go in this port right here. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is connect the cables from the Genomi CNC machine to the back of our screen here. Uh, the first one you want to do is just move back here. You're going to connect this to your AC power. Um, and then you'll have an RJ45 connection. And that goes here on the back to the accessory port. And it's labeled ACC. Uh, next, you have uh, your red cable and your black cable. So red is your positive. So you will screw that into the positive port here on the back of the Orion. And then the black one will be the negative. Okay, so now we're going to set up the argon regulator. So to do that, this will come with your system. First, you want to unscrew the regulator dial counterclockwise. Um, so that when you screw this part onto the argon gas tank, it doesn't pressurize. So with this all the way backed out, we're now good to go. And then what you'll do is put this on your argon gas tank. Be sure to secure that tight with a wrench. Now your last cable here from the Genomi. You will plug this uh, quarter inch tubing into the side of your regulator and then give it a little tug just to make sure it's in there. It's a quick connect. After that, uh, you will open the gas tank and uh, turn the regulator dial clockwise until the PSI shows between 5 and 10 PSI, and that's where you want to be with your argon regulator pressure. Okay, next we need to power the welder. And in order to do that, you have a power cable that came with the system. You'll plug this in to the side of your power supply here that has the AC power connector. And then on the other side, you have a 9-pin connector. The one side of the 9-pin connector will go into the power supply box, like this. And then the other side will go up into the interface. All right, so as you can see here, we moved the cables and routed them to the back. Uh, just to have everything out of the way, we moved the argon regulator and tank to the back just so that that was out of the way. Next, we need to connect a couple more cables here to the back of the Orion 250i uh, touchscreen interface um, that will connect from from here to the genome. This connects to the CNC and then it breaks off into two cables that will go into the back of the welder. So I'll connect those first. So this cable goes into the shutter port right here and this cable goes into the trigger port right here. So once you get that in just be sure to that so that it's securely in. And then the other end of this cable will go into the back. We'll go into the back of the genome. Next we will plug the power cable from the genome system to the AC power. To control the CNC, uh, you have this pendant here. And we need to plug this into the front of the genome in order to have that control. And that just goes right here. And then lastly, if you are not using the pendant uh, right here, you can use uh, your own computer to control where the CNC head goes. And in order to do that, you need to connect to um, a wall lens. So this one goes on the front like this, and then you'll connect the other end into your wall lens. 
Okay, so now we have everything connected. There are three power switches. Um, one on the Orion here, one on the welder here, and then one on the back of the system here. And now we have the uh, user interface for being able to weld with this system.